our washing machine broke down the other week. I, I do, could have done without a washing machine breaking down a week before Christmas, because I'm like, right, I've got to go to Curry's now. I'll pop to Curry's and I'll buy a new washing machine. Because you know when you've got something a bit crap to do, you think, if I say pop, that'll speed it up, won't it? <laughs> but it doesn't. Pop, nip and zip do not bend time. I'm just letting you know that. You would be better off clearing a morning. I got down to Curry's and there's hundreds of washing machines, because there are, aren't they? Because we live in the West, we live in the first world where we celebrate choice, but choice is only an advantage if you're a decisive person, isn't it? I'd prefer it if there was a choice of two, a shit one and a slightly better than shit one <laughs> to create the illusion of value for money. I'd be quite happy with that. I, I didn't know, I don't like shopping. I don't enjoy it as an activity. Some people do, but I don't. I get a bit overwhelmed, I can't form opinions, especially if I'm with the pasta Nazis. I don't... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I can't decide on anything. So I'm looking at all these washing machines thinking, well, I don't know. So then I went and sat in the car and I read reviews of washing machines. <laughs> I don't want a life where I'm reading a review of a washing machine. I don't mind reading a review of a book or a film, but not a washing machine. Who writes reviews of washing machines? I mean, you get asked to write reviews most days, don't you? You buy a thing, they get your email address, and then they send you an email. You write a little review. We write a little bit of review, review about that little bit of shit you bought last Thursday. How do you feel about that little bit of shit you bought last Thursday? What are your feelings about it as a consumer? How would you rate it out of 10? What are your feelings? Put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, and think about how you feel about that little bit of shit you bought last Thursday. <laughs> My plumber asked me to write a review for his website. I was like, well, what do you want me to say, Dean? Brilliant flange sprockets, I flushed all night. <laughs> so I, I bought one, right? I bought a washing machine, and it lives with us now, it's in our house. But I've got more choices to make because it's got millions and millions of settings on it. It's got a sports wash, a daily wash, an eco wash, a power wash. Just clean it! <laughs> It's got an iron-free option. Why would I not choose that? <laughs> Who chooses to iron? It's got an economy-intense option. That doesn't have any meaning. It has no meaning. It's got a hand-wash option on an automatic washing machine! <laughs> that might as well say, oh, you're a lazy bitch, aren't ya? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. You take the weight off your feet, babe. <laughs> got a passive-aggressive washing machine. <laughs> it's got a silk wash option. I haven't got that many silks. Nobody has. I've never heard anybody shouting, I'm gonna do a silk wash! <laughs> Have you got any silks that want doing? <laughs> oh. oh, hang on. I I'll just go and check my kimono drawer. <laughs> no, I'm all right for another week. You crack on. Stuffing all your silks in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to do two loads here, aren't I? 